Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Mod Messin'. I am your host, That Brown Bat, and today we're going to talk about collision. This is what you could call an advanced tutorial on how to break the collision. And this has to do with going into the asset folder and removing the files that give you a collision. Now, do I know everything about this? No. Uh, does this work the same way for every toy? No. But, does it work? Yes. Is it helpful? Yes. Is it a game changer? Yes. So, this is what you do. As always, you want to go to your assets folder. So, there's a couple ways to do it. The primary one I suggest is to, once you find it, make it save uh, shortcut. But anyway, you can go manage, browse local files. And then when you get that open, you're going to open your assets folder. And then you're going to want to go to Rumpus Objects, okay? Then you're going to want to go to Rumpus Room. And then you're going to want to go to whatever category that you're going to want to break the collision on. In this case, I'm currently involved in doing a Castlevania build. And that involves a lot of Gothic architecture, which includes the vaulted platforms. So that would be under block, okay? So in the block folder, you have the Infinity 2, that would be 2.0 blocks. Uh, I believe that those were specific to 2.0 over 1.0, but I've already looked through it and there's nothing in there that I need to break the collision on. Uh, there's a lot of uh, logic tools in those and uh, I'm not concerned about those, but what I'm concerned about is this one right here called block.zip. So if you haven't watched my tutorials on how to unzip a Disney Infinity 3.0 file, do that now. Links are in the description or in the playlist. It's how to use quick BMS. So I'm going to go through that right now, just quick. So I'm not gonna make any stops, but I'm gonna just copy the address of the folder that includes the zip. I'm gonna copy that, I use control C. And then I am going to go to where I have quick BMS installed on my computer and I'm gonna drag the Disney Infinity BMS file onto the quick BMS EXE. All right, and then up on top, I'm going to paste uh, what I just copied, the address of that folder, and then I'm gonna select block.zip, open, and then save. All right, now it just unzipped it. So now I'm gonna go back to the block folder. And now, if I play the game, this block.zip is still functional, so I have to move that out of place. So I'm gonna make a folder called, uh, I'm just gonna say, dot, it doesn't, you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna say dot original zip, all right? And then I'm gonna cut it and paste it in there. So that way, the game will not read from the zip file. However, in this state, it's not gonna read from anything. So what you gotta do, is take all those files out of the block folder and move them right here. That's the only way, uh, other than having that original zip file, it's the only way the game's gonna read it. Uh, as far as I know, we don't know how to rezip these in a 3.0 format. I could be wrong, and maybe somebody's just not talking. I don't know. Uh, if you do know, let me know in the comments below, please, or hit me up on uh, on Discord or Twitter. And what's what's my Twitter at that brown bat? Discord link. If I remember, I put the link in in the uh, in the in the comments below. Now, since I'm only going to have this as temporary, I only want to use this. This is me. I only want to do this uh, for when I'm making toy boxes. All right. So if I'm actually going to play it, I'm going to institute that zip file, and you'll see why in a second. Because well, we're breaking the collision, and if you keep it on, you're going to break it forever. Just leaving these set like this, you didn't break the collision, it's, it should run normal. Except for the fact, here's a texture file that whatever uses this won't have that. I don't know what, what toy has this file, but I'm not concerned about it. That's a bump, bitmap, bump map, 
all right and from the looks of it it's not that uh it's not that uh big of a deal for texture uh so anyway i'm gonna leave that alone like i said i just want to break the collision now we have two main files that we're going to search for now you see we have a .ap, .btms, .btds, uh, ibuff. So there's quite a few different file types in this folder. All right, OCT. So three of them specifically have to do with model. One of them has to do with material. Two of them have to do with collision. And I have no clue what the other ones do. Like I said, I think there's like 11, 11 different file types. But here's what we're looking for. All right, we are looking for V, VXL. So what's the dot VXL? That's one of your collision files. What this does is your base collision. And uh, I'll show you that right now. I'm just gonna type up here. And, well, before I type up there, I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call it test, all in caps, so I don't miss it. All right, you can call it whatever you want, but go up into the search and uh, type dot VXL and enter. And I'm going to do a control A for select all and then control X for cut. Then I'm going to paste all those VXL files in this test folder. What that is doing is removing those from the equation. Now you're going to see right now what that does for you. All right, here we are in my test toy box. Here we are making, making Aladdin better than what it was. Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, uh, that's not the purpose of this. The purpose of it is, uh, is, let's go to, well, here's, here's some uh, collisions. Now, I don't believe all of these simple toys are in that one folder. I haven't found them all yet, but here's the, here's the biggest takeaway from these. Go to simple toys, got an arch block, See what that does? Removing the VXL file, it allows you to merge the arch blocks. And you can put anything in the arch blocks. Right? Now, like I said, I don't know where how all these other toys work, but I know it works with the arch blocks. So, of course, you're seeing these don't merge, uh, but it merges in here. So, one of the things, as you've seen me do countless times, turn around here is make narrow arches and how easy is that I don't need a trigger area anymore and this also works with the tall vaulted platform now one of the things you're going to notice is the platforms and the, the regular vaulted platform as well. Uh, it changes the camera angle, so be careful. And they these will transcend anything, which is even cooler. Uh, so we don't have uh, that luxury. See, these will go through anything, anything. We don't have that luxury with the, uh, the arch blocks. Now, see that's how I'm gonna end up just building without using any path creators or anything. Just get it lined right up and then I can just take the uh, square blocks to get rid of the Z fighting, right? And let's say I mess something up. Oh, I can't get a hold of it with the spark. What if I wanted a different color? Well, don't fret. What you do, you just go into character mode and get your wand out, right? And then you can do it. You can grab a hold of it. Now, when you grab a hold of it from character mode, uh, the camera's locked. So what you're gonna have to do is go to a smaller toy and it unlocks the camera again, okay? So there's work around for that and it's not that big of a deal. I think if you're gonna use vaulted platforms, especially if you're using uh, gold edition, this is going to be a game changer for your builds, okay? And so, but if you want to change the uh, color or texture, then you have to go into character mode and do that. And that's not that big of a deal. Now, there's another file 
it's a BTD file I had mentioned. So if you search for .btd, you take all those and throw them into that test folder. Then open the game back up. All right, so what this is going to do is allow certain pieces, let me change my theme here, certain pieces to have their uh, collision barrier changed. So we've seen the arch blocks before. So you're still going to be able to merge them. That's 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 not uh, that's 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 not a that's not a change. So that's that's good. You'll be able to make them better with ease. But here's the here's the thing. Now the character is going to be able to pass right through it. So what's the purpose of that? Nothing really for these, but it's going to. Uh, it affects other toys uh, in a different way. The other thing it is, is, is it changes, see I'm, I can jump on top of an invisible thing. It, it changed the collision barrier. And that's not that big of a deal for the uh, arch blocks. It's a big deal for the curved block. So now see where the, uh, the blue is? That is on the bottom. So I can't put that on the ground normally. And the other thing is, if you want to grab a hold of it, you have to grab that box. That's only if you get rid of the BTD files, okay? But one of the things about that, why would you use this? So I could merge them. The only thing, you just can't touch those boxes together. So if I really wanted to do something with these and, and put these somewhere, as long as I'm not touching that uh, box, I'm fine. So what's in terrain blocks? Terrain blocks. So we're going to do the same thing with terrain blocks that we did to the block folder. We're going to copy that and we're going to unzip it with quick BMS. All right. And then I'm going to search for .vxl. Right now, I just want to show that the terrain blocks, not all of them, not the uh, basic square ones. Don't know why. So just forget about those from the terrain block folder. They might be somewhere else, but now something is different because usually these move super fast. So it also alters the speed. So keep that in mind for some of them, it's gonna be slower. Now the, the prism is this, nope. All right, how about this? Yes, the small terrain corner, the uh, collision is gone camera angle is altered as well the big one now the uh, mountain pieces it totally removes the barrier and one of the things you could do if you wanted I mean albeit the uh, camera angle is uh, altered but you can blend these things together if you wanted think any of these mountain pieces oh nope. not this one because the barrier is still on that and on that and that and that but not on this it's on that but you can put them through the ones that don't have a barrier that's that's a cool thing so the uh, regular mountain saddle doesn't have collision now because I removed the v, uh, the VXL files. Now, if you remove the BTD files, uh, you're probably going to have similar results to some of them as before and as the uh, simple blocks. But that's fine. Uh, just figure it out. And this would have been helpful in the Maleficent's build if I'd known this. Yeah. So when I was doing Maleficent's castle. This would have came in handy really well. And then we also have castle pieces. Now, 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 here's our castle pieces. All right, let's go to, oh, I don't think it's building set six or five. Ah, look at that. 
Oh, this one still has it. That's unfortunate. I always hated the fact that that had one. Because you always needed to put this on top of somewhere and it, you could never get it to go. But anyway. Um, yeah, that. Yeah, that. Most of them, looks like. Oh, no, not that. Not that. Not. No. Nope, this. 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 Alright. What this is going to allow you to do is to make any size you want. Now you might get some Z fighting. You definitely will, but you can always put something in between if that's something that you have to do. Towers don't have any collision doing it that way. Ooh. The ramps, no collision. This will come in handy. This will come very much in handy. Putting, let's say I want a, a bridge between uh, my towers and I don't have enough space, like I'm off a half, boom, Just stick this in there, all right? So we have towers that we can put anywhere we want now without having to mess with things. Look at that. No collision is good collision. Just don't get carried away because you're putting pieces on top of pieces and can potentially run out of space really quick. But look at that. Yeah, I know there's something there, but you could always put something over that. That is sweet. That is sweet. Oh, look at that. Not sure what we'll get for Z fighting. Maybe none. If there is any, it's unnoticeable. Oh, look at that. <laughs> just from a distance. It looks like I just made a masterpiece. Now, if I go up close, it looks like... What is that? It's, it's, it's just pieces. And of course, there's more things that you can do. With all the time that I do have, did have, I wasn't able to get to everything. But what we got, we got. And it's better than what we had. So until next time, remember to keep on modding. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to give me a like before you click out. And also, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do it, do it now. And click the bell icon if you wanna know what I'm up to before I even know what I'm up to because it helps you see into the future. And I just made that up. Until next time, this is That Brown Bat reminding you to keep on building.